Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Yoshi Lee back with another video and today we're gonna be doing some Quan offlane on the new path. So I was gonna try and actually try to lay off the Quan videos because I said that I was worried about doing the Quan videos too much. You guys said you were you're okay with it, but I'm still like I wanna try and actually take a break a little bit, but there's an update for Quan. Well it's actually pretty big adjustments and I think that it's actually a huge W for Quan on this patch. Well it, he got some nerfs here and there with like the tether range being nerfed and some of the like that numbers of cooldowns. But a lot of the like buffs he got is just like his passive now reducing his cooldown by one second instead of half a second. Now his range, his AoE range on his arm B and his ultimate is increased so you actually can hit them a lot more consistently. This is just a lot of good stuff for Quan that I just have to try him out on this patch and let you guys know my thoughts as a Quan and Joy and Lane. We're on the middle matchup. It's going to be kind of interesting to see how this will go out because it's so very kind of stack lobby um, from what I can tell. So we'll see how this goes. And I don't want to like shove in my lane is the issue. It is kind of shoving in which is actually not ideal for me. But I just have to like play around this right. Because if anything I'll get the level 2 before this other one. But um, the wave is still in the neutral spot so we're actually um, shielding still. So yeah, obviously I'm just kind of shove in because I just imagine this clutch may just honestly invade because a lot of junglers like to invade on this side of the map. So I'm just have to play a little careful until I know where this clutch is going. We did one that trade pretty good, so at this point, as long as we're just mindful of the clutch and we just see him right there, we should be fine. Just immediately dash away, and that's all we can really do. He is going to be looking to evade, maybe. Let's put down the wood just in case he comes that side, but that means that um, I'm going to put in a little awkward spot, just having no mana really um, to play around with. Maybe this Quan is actually looking to back off. I honestly can't tell where he's at. Okay, there he is. So actually, look what, what he's building. Okay, I think he's gonna build the same thing I'm thinking of doing. Is that Fire Blossom, Tempest, all that good jazz. Just going for the Quan like tank build that I think is honestly the best way to go about him at the moment. I'm gonna try to see if we can just bully him out. He has no mana, but I don't have a mana as well. So we're both having the similar issues, just having no mana early on at the very least. And he actually was so scared that he blinked out, even though I don't think I killed him. Because I just don't have no follow-up um, for the most part. And I don't have anything to pressure him with. I'll try yeah, I don't I just don't have didn't have anything to um dive him right there. So let me grab the two buff down and look to take the reset. It's gonna take me a little bit because I don't have much ability damage to really do to the objective, but I think this is probably the perfect time to do it. But I know Crunch is not on the side and we made the quant back off all the way. Oh what is it? what's just the aggro right there? Interesting. There we go. Alright, we get Brimstone online. Um, he's actually okay. Yeah, he's doing something a little different. He's doing overgrowth, which he's gonna go for the most scaling build. Whereas I'm gonna go for the most traditional um tank build right here. Because in this middle matchup, especially having this Brimstone over this Quan, it's just a huge deal. Because I can actually take long trades and win them, unlike this other guy, because he doesn't have that. Brim he doesn't have a way for sustained damage really at all. Whereas I my Brimstone. So I think what I'm gonna try and do, seeing that, is I'm gonna try to force. Um, longer trades as soon as I get a nice combo onto him. Huh. 
Okay, he has no Q on B, so I might actually just look to walk this guy down a little bit. Yep. I have my ultimate now, so I think if I land my Tedo knockup, I think I can kill him because he doesn't have blink. I do. Okay, I didn't quite land that, but I'm still gonna go on him. Yeah, I really play in the cooldown reduction right here, especially. I. I think I need to do one more R-type, but it looks like I did not, so I kind of wasted my blink right there. But what really matters is we got the kill at the end of the day, but... Dang, I really thought I needed to do one more all attack and I was trying to do it before you can dash away, but... That kind of griefed my blink right there. Okay, let's take the reset right here. And start bringing the fire bombs in. I might actually pick up, um... Like a mana regen item, because... Essentially, like, I'm gonna go Time Warp second. I kind of found that after going back and forth a lot with Time Warp first or Fire Blossom first, I like the Fire Blossom first and then straight to Time Warp second. And I find that if you just go even just one energy stream early on, that really helps with just that mana sustain and lane because I don't need this Fire Blossom right away. If anything, my biggest issue is the lack of mana sustain. So just getting a little bit extra mana sustain is gonna go a long way, I feel like. So I'm gonna just pick this up and then we're gonna finish out Fire Blossom on our next pack. Gonna ult right there, but we're not under any like kill pressure by him. Wait, we'll play? You have ultimate? He does. There's no way I can swap the aggro with him, so he's gonna have to walk that out. And he did, he walked it out pretty nice and good right there. But yeah, no, I really feel the huge difference with the one second cooldown. I'm looking at my cooldowns, I'm like, I'm actually getting my builds faster than I normally do early on, which is like the biggest drawback of playing like one, I feel like, especially early on. It's just he's so easy to get um, bullied out of lane because he doesn't have that much mana. Or rather, like, he has. His mana's not like the biggest issue, it's sort of like a struggle, and that's why I kind of like going time warp a lot. But it's mostly the fact that his cooldowns are just long early, and if you have long cooldowns, it's really hard to just trade with your opponents, where a lot of opponents have kind of shorter cooldowns, at least on one or two abilities, so. It's really nice that if we can push our aggression with and gain out all attacks and we could actually use our abilities on a shorter cooldown. I didn't land that. Oh well. Not enough to finish him off, but he's definitely playing really skill at this point. Wow, like we didn't got the last auto right there. I think he got the shield was the big thing. Looks like he got like the shield off last second. That's why we didn't finish him off as I thought we would. But we got the blink again, and this should be a free tower for us. Nice, we get Fire Blossom off this back, and that's going to make our damage scale pretty nicely. I'm actually going to do the triple camp really fast, because you see how... Well, you guys can't actually see it because my camera is blocking it, but I'm literally 7 HP away from getting Tempest. So I'm going to always just hit the build, um, camp a little bit. I probably won't clear it. I just need to like get one more E, and then that should be good enough. Oh, you know what? I might as well just finish it off at this point. You see how I finally got the quest online? That's just a good thing to pay attention to, because if I just back away, 
um, I won't get the Tempest. Where I just all I need to do is smack that triple cam and I get Tempest right here on level five blossom. So there we go. We should be starting to cook pretty good right here. First one time warp second right here. And let's see. I might actually go right. Um, I'm gonna see if we can kind of hover the fainters a little bit. His farm's already on the left side. He's kind of freezing it, but that means that we can take a 5v4 fight. I can unleash yep, see how they're kind of going. Uh, I thought he's gonna walk a little bit that way. Nice. Really nice right there. Maybe got the trim left if I didn't miss my Q right there, but what matters is we got a flashy flash over the wall to be able to go on top of them unexpectedly and kill them right there. So I'm gonna go back to left, because if I stay there too long, Juan's gonna get too much free farm and might even contest the tower right there, so. Because yeah, I think off that one rotation alone, we kind of started to fall behind on CS a little bit. Granted, my CS early game wasn't the greatest as well, but we can definitely Enemy fix that up right here. Nice. I think we came at an angle where the corner see us because we kind of came off that ledge and that I think that's a blind spot. If you kind of like up next to that wall, you just can't see if someone's actually going right there. It's actually really kind of good map info right there for you guys. Wait, I didn't hit. That is unforged right there. That is actually really unforged. Yeah, we got the blink from Quan, so it's not all lost. I guess the movement speed really kick in right there, so he got out of my range right there. I know Quan is on this side, so we're actually not going to push that too aggressively. I might actually look at mid because I think he's gonna agree for the tower and we can definitely just go on him. The tower has been slain. Oh, he just uses on B. Okay. Hmm. I mean, can we go on this? We have to phase, I guess. An allied tower is right there! And got the roots right there. Mm, I'm just rotating too much. I need to like actually go farm a little bit more. Wait, they went on the main farm? Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm rotating too much. I need to actually help my team a little bit more. Hmm. It's not going to be a finish to crunch, but we definitely got him. They're nice and good. I'm gonna back off right here because I just I'm in kind of kill waiting for weights if not careful. So I'm gonna just take the reset right here and go back to the left. I will return soon. Nice face got the kill on him at the very least. Yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna actually just farm left. I think I've been rotating too much. I'm just gonna keep pushing this side. Because at the very least, um, I'll be able to... What's the word? Um, push the lane. I can maybe take the 1v2. But it's just, it's gonna be a little scuff. Um, and the, against like the crunch and the um, crunch. I'll play a little shield from now. Your power grows. 
Second Phantoms is coming up, so I have to keep that in mind. Okay, he's not walking up to me. Alright, he's gonna blink right there. That's fine. I honestly need to. I probably have. I say I don't. I can't rotate too much, but at this point, if I don't rotate the feint, it might lose that actually. I just have to be there for this team fight. Play the more team player uh, for my team. Uh, I'm in Sparta, so they know I'm here, but at the same time, I don't think they can rush the faint to right away. Mm. Wow, they actually rush it. Uh, we just, we all like hesitating too much. I'm just surprised we just never went in at all when I feel like we could have and really went to town. Alright, I guess that was just a kind of L for us right there, even though I thought we could just went in. Alright, so I can't go flex matrix as much as I like to, just because, um, what's the word? Because they actually have a heavy AD pump with like the crunch, the weight, and trim line, so I'm gonna actually go with a third, um, physical heavy. Physical Armor Iron and Golden Skip, which also gives me the ability Haste and Physical Power that I want. So I might not actually go World Break with this game, because I'm not, I don't think I'm building up, up HP to really take advantage of um, the passive from World Breaker. Okay, he's going into the 5 cam. Wait. Voices. Trying to look for the snipe on me, so that's why I'm kind of taking a little shield pill right here. Um, I'm gonna go left. I feel like nothing's really happening right there anymore. We got so many like abilities and blinks out, but just not the kills that we were hoping for right at the moment. Wait, we're still. Wait, why are we still fighting? I thought we were just actually chilling right there. Yeah, we're just taking really long fights where I think it should be done. Attack mid. We just had to get the tower knockdown ASAP. Wow, that didn't hit. Because I'm trying to get used to the cooldown on um, the range of the tether being reduced at this point. We did shrunken pretty good, but now we're at the back off because we see the ADC coming over. Maybe we could turn on him actually. Hey, I, again, blinks but no kills, unfortunately. So let's just retreat then. I really need this mana right here. So I'm gonna take that for myself because if I want to fight the Quan, I gotta have this ASAP. Yep, so it looks like he's gonna come towards me.
Oh, uh, they have an E phase. Plus B phase. Not sure. Okay, this is just one of those games. I, I thought there was going to be more of a high look game, but it feels like just running over the place, trying to get killed, overstaying, etc. etc. Alrighty then. Okay. So, let me think. I'm going to go go and skip still. I think that's the item that's going to be a good counter against this team. Maybe I'll go Flex, flex Matrix still, just for the Quan alone. This game's a magical armor against him wouldn't be bad at all. I don't, I'm not ready to catch him, unfortunately. Primo's coming up. I don't think they're going to force that unless they get a very solid pick. But I think we just have to like shove our left and just help it right at this point. I'm gonna grab myself a blue buff, which is at this point really good on me. Actually, I don't think I can drop on left. I think it's in a decent spot. I just have to actually help it for this because it seems like they actually want to force that out pretty dang soon. Yeah, Fawn's even more tame too, and that's a great stone dead. Um, I mean, are we just gonna give up the farm? Because it's still early on. I just want to scale them off. Uh, I'm just gonna heal with this. That's jungle dead. I don't think I can win the 1v2, especially with the waste being kind of thick. Mm, I'm gonna give Rewind right here. Yeah, I mean, if I can't get on top of the waste in the 1v1, I can't realistically kill them. But we got off the primal, and that's the big thing. We, If we get them off the primal, they can't take that, they can't use that to their advantage, right? So that's actually really good that I just went in and forced a fight to happen right there. You know what, I'm, you know what, I'm not scared of like one at this point, I'm going to just build full <laughs> like physical armor, so... What's going to be really good are the building um, health, I mean, I guess the crunch. I think it still works while you get Tainted Guards, so... I think I'm going to go for Tainted Guards. It's going to be my third physical armor item, just trying to build as much physical armor as we can, so the waste from last crunch can't really like, wheel us down that much. I mean, some way they force it again. Oh my god, they're forcing it again. Okay. They really want to do it so badly, but Crunch is always so low. Yeah, I think it's a cleanup right here. I'm gonna go focus on the on the waist. She gonna, she's gonna blink out. Crunch is gonna blink out. So let's honestly just go on this um, primal. I might have to turn this because... Yeah, let's turn it. We, we have to turn this now. Mm, no follow-up. That kind of blows. Cause it's, it's kind of sketchy to do the primal like... I'm not just getting follow up. Like, I'm getting the boost, but we're not going together as a team right now. I don't know, like, I feel like we should kind of play one by boost, but only the Modoc was kind of hoping everyone else was always behind. At the very least, it seems like we kind of just poked them out, so they can't take advantage of, like, me being down at the moment. Oh, the snipe! Uh, oh wait, you don't have snipe, that's right. Unfortunately, I think that'd be an easy kill if the mode like, has snipe right too. Yeah, it's literally just a way it's hard, carry hard carrying them right now, so if we just go on him first, I think we win it 10 out of 10 times.
So last I am the build, I might actually go World Breaker because I am burning. Uh, I think I'm gonna go Force Matrix last. I'm kind of improvising on the go because it's just an odd team comp. Um, they always why do they keep going back in primal? Oh my god. Okay, I want to just bomb like a normal person, but I guess I cannot if they're gonna constantly go on that right. So, wait, can we look at this potentially? Oh my god, I really wish I learned that. My left wave isn't the bad spot, but I just can't show face left or else it might actually whip the final right away. So I'm just gonna help him mid. Seems like they're all on this objective. Oh. I'm gonna have to back off. Mm. I got a really nice engagement, just not enough damage to finish him off because he just kind of walked out my ability right there. Mm, this one's kind of going super hard. So, ooh, almost got the kill. I mean, they have no HP, was we have the phase to keep coming back up. So I'm just keep attacking mid. I think at this point they just seize the tower because they don't have ways to kill back up. But we have the phase to do so. It's just the poke we have to worry about. Oh, wait, so no, not like this. Okay, there's no way that waste walked out of that for free. Wait, I think. Yeah, Mona wins that with the face, actually. There we go. I feel the heaven's fury. Can we just go Prime, honestly? I'm I'm wanting to do Prime. I think everyone just keep hugging the Primal Fainter, so at this point, let's just go sneak in old Prime um with the team trying to come back online before their ways can. So I'm gonna just push out left because I want to actually get some farm so I can get to my arms faster. Let's just do it. Like, I think it's the perfect opportunity to do so. Not the. I think they already watered this. The issue is, I think they water it. So, they might actually hover us as a result. Well, we might have to turn this. That's what I'm thinking we're gonna do. Mm, I'm trying to keep. I'm trying to see if we have enough damage to finish this. I think we do. We might have to turn this though soon. Wait, where's this being at? Why is outside the wall? What's this wait that? I don't know. Trying to do some bus damage to him a little bit. Okay, that's his bling. I love I don't die. I'm. I should be chilling. Play a little slow, but kind of add Wanger's advantage a little bit. Okay, there's no. Yeah, he kind of showed that. He was trying really hard to get the pick, but we punish him accordingly for that. Wait, that deck might drop down. Okay, that's a blink. Um, can we just do primal then? This is a perfect time to do it when the main carry is down and we have five men right here. We have to do it the fast, especially since we actually lost the white inhibitor somehow. I wasn't paying attention to what happened right there. Nice. 
How much time we have? I'm fine. We have two minutes. I'm gonna go left, but I'm also gonna reset so I can get ten of God. Last item this build. I'm still doing this on the fly, honestly. Let's go. I don't want to hesitate too long. Let's just go bit B for now and play around with it. Uh, so let's see. We have enough magical power. Maybe we can go a little bit more with Wolf Breaker so we get that threshold that we can kind of one shot the waste by still being tanky. So we might actually go Wolf Breaker last this game to cap out this build. Modoc can't be um, pushing by himself, I'll say that. I can do it by myself, but not the Modoc. He might just get jump on the waist and the decker, is my concern. Okay, it seems like they're trying to hover me instead. That's fine. I think what we should do is we should try to uh, um, take down mid then. It might not be a bullet to spot, so I'm actually gonna hug this a little bit and see what happens. One is coming over, so eventually he might spot me if not careful. Uh, okay, he's taking a long way around. I'm not gonna ult that because that's a little bit too close to how for my comforts. Taking power aggro, so I'm gonna back off a little bit. Cause we just need to play this low, and then we should be fine. Cause we have this fine healing. Nah, let's let's wait for the wave. Let's wait for the wave. There we go. What might be the actually end of my Q? Now that I'm looking at the wave states. Just focus at this, and we should win. I'm hoping that kills. Nah, my primal just ended just there. I kind of lose. Nice, nah, Moda coming in for the clutch kill right there. Now we get the end right here. It's a little unfortunate the trim was kind of detailed. DC there told the end made the outcome come out a little different, but it is still a very nice back and forth game to say the least. And nonetheless, on the new form, because even that in that early game, I felt the cooldown difference. That one second cooldown difference is actually so nutty because you go from one and a half second cooldown on all your builders to three seconds. And three second cooldown reduction is such a massive deal for especially someone like Quan. So I kind of felt like I can actually take longer trades because I'll be able to cycle through my build, uh, abilities twice at the very least and look at that putting out the good damage numbers right there and of course the race like of course got top damage this game because he actually was performing really really well on this pick um so really great stuff um not every day you get to see a little bit more like um interesting kind of lobby because I would thought this lobby is going to be a lot more how do I say it a lot more meticulous on how we do stuff but I felt like for 20 minutes straight we were just kept pressing down W key and just kept roaming the map and so that was just kind of that real kind of Tuesday patch game I guess so I'm not sure why there's two big mics right there that may be a bug that I myself will look at later so yeah no I think that Quan feels just amazing with the changes so um I don't think he's gonna be like necessarily like dramatically like top two hero all of a sudden I think he's like a more consistently strong hero because when I did my tier list I think he's a strong hero I don't think he was like someone that can be like what's the word 
If you have the sort of kind of skill ceiling, there's some stuff, some weaknesses you have to get around to to make sure you can take full advantage of him. But it seems like a, a lot of the large weaknesses, like the small hitboxes of his army, his ultimate, and then his cooldown being increased with um, his passive, really makes him just feel like a better version of myself. So I think this these changes just amazing on him. So I think for Quan enjoyers like myself, we're gonna be eating super good this patch on him. Alright, so what we're gonna be doing for this build is just like this is essentially like my favorite way to build Quan. I like to go Fire Blossom first, then Time Warp second. I play one um, Time Warp first, Fire Blossom first, and I found that Fire Blossom first is just better overall, more consistent value, but also getting that Brimstone early is really clutch to be able to take longer trades so you don't get gimped out if you don't have your abilities off cooldown. And so going time warp second is the main reason why I'm doing that because it's just a huge statistic for magical power, ability, haze, and the man regen is just so so nice on Quan personally. So I just like going those two items in that order and then after that I start to flex a little bit. So I think this game I'm gonna go flex matrix third and then kinda go world breaker fourth, then like host keeper, magnify, or whatever item lasts. Last time it's sort of like a flex slot. Ideally you want to try to get flex matrix and world breaker, but sometimes not gonna always be able to do that depending on the team comp. Like if they have like a waste med for example, I'll probably have to do like golem's gift as a third arm so I can get more ma um, armor against the kind of team comp. But this game I can just go the more standard build. You can just one on him almost every game. And with such slider, I'm doing very well. How are you doing my friend? So the key to winning to his matchup against Steel is to use your RMB before he does because your RMB shoot can eat up his RMB and that's what you want to try to go for it. See how like I got my RMB off? He got his RMB off but then my eat shield eat up most of that damage. That increased range view is really nice by the way. That's a big comment I made in the video that you guys are gonna see this Friday. One more all attack and we've been dead right there, but that's really good for us. We got that early blink from him. I ideally want to get Brimstone on my first back, but I don't know if I can without getting punished by the Chimera gang, so... We just have to keep a close eye on if he's gonna come over or not. I think I'm still gonna back though. I think it's too greedy to just overstay at this point. So I'm just gonna throw this last minion, and then we're gonna just walk away. My Chimera is on that side. Allied tower under. I have 50, so let's see if the steel is actually going to back, which, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. If, it, if I didn't see the Chimera on the left side, I would definitely um, back off. But since we know where he's at, I can get away with um, clearing this out because I should be able to get enough for Brimstone right here. That's actually really huge for me to get this back right here. And now I get to start to win the long range really good. Good wave clear and just overall this is the item I need to start to really get aggressive against the seal. You see how he doesn't have brimstone but I do? That's gonna be huge because I'm gonna have a huge presence in playing against him. Speaking of huge presences, we see all people mid lane diving the Gideon on the tower. Oh my goodness gracious. What is that? Fire, actually. Although I have to play a little carefully because he had the big menu wave. I want to make sure I clear this out before I look to get too aggressive on him. Ah, I didn't do that too far enough as I'd like to.
Sometimes I like to do it fast, but I gotta realize that it takes a little bit to get my Q to max rank to be able to hit the um, opponents. They didn't walk into that. Wait, okay. I'm gonna go on this actually. He has no blink. So we actually just kill him. Nice. That brings up it's definitely like the big reason why we can actually kill that seal right there. Yeah, the old change is also really good on Quan. Like, you can do a lot more just, um, ultimate without your sword out in the world. Because, like, you can see that in the lane phase, the army range is actually so nice, and it's ultimate as well, so... It's just so nice to be able to trade with people now in offlane, because not only you land your army more consistently, which you really need to, but also the reduced cooldown of your, um, abilities means that you can cycle through your abilities more if you want to take longer trades. It's going from uh, one and a half seconds to three seconds overall cooldown reduction. It's just massive, in my opinion. It really is super massive. But I think Fireball is one of the best items in offlane, in my opinion. He has Brimstone now, but we obviously like do a lot more damage than him. So I think we're gonna really just keep pressing advantage at this point. You see right here, I can just do that. Cause I didn't even need to like jump right there. I just knew that my ultimate would just um hit right there if I if he just stand right there. I don't see the what you call the Bellica missing. So I'm, I'm gonna agree for one more wave, then I'll look it back off. Because that way, that second wave fully crashes in, and I get all that CS right there. Oh, yeah, no, Fireballs are just seriously so nuts. I keep saying that, like, Fireballs are just the best arm to go in off lane for most heroes. That's why Quan can run it so good. Not, not necessarily because like the item just happens to cover his weaknesses and like offer like sustained chain power. It's just fireballs are just so dang good. Like no no item in the game besides maybe the Basilisk T2 item can match the power that Brimstone offers you. And then when you get the item fully maxed out, not only your damage is good, but you're very durable with all that physical armor and mana. So even against magical matchups, um, that physical armor won't help you, but you still feel so double uh, because that's just what Fire Blossom does, right? I don't think I need the blink. Yep, I'm fine. Huge. Cause it's like he's unstoppable to like my slow, but um, for my damage, it still got off right there. You guys saw. And I do know Bellica's on the right side, so I'll just make sure I walk all the way back. So I don't get greeted out. Yeah, see right there, she was there. So luckily, I decided to back off. The Tempest now, and let's start getting Time Warp. We could honestly just not go with the Time Warp just yet, but I like using my abilities a lot without being hindered by the mana cost, so that's why I like to sometimes just go straight for this. 
when I'm doing time warp first, but also sometimes if I did finish Fire Blossom, but I can still spend 350 gold, I get like one of this, right? I just really value the extra mana region. Oh my god, he queued through the fog wall. There's no way. I landed that he dies. That's so unfortunate. It did look like it landed, but it did not connect right there. I'm actually a little sad person right now. He's doing the blue buff, by the way. So we're gonna take this for ourselves, actually. We will take this for ourselves. Yep. Easy said does it. The force here, so it's backed off. We blink over there. Okay then. Hmm. my old like unfortunately was not able to catch up to me right there, but that's two blinks and three people chasing me down. I'll I'll take I'll take the death if that means I get the one for one and the blue buff right there. We're definitely still way stronger than the steel. Especially once we get Flux Matrix, we actually build the armor against them. But I like my man reach in, especially. I'm kind of disrespecting him right there. There's a huge minion wave, that's the only reason why I'm taking a lot of damage, but it still doesn't matter because I still um, went even on that trade. Oh my god, I hate the fact that it just resets the cooldown on that. But it doesn't matter because it's still the kill. I'll back off because I think I see one person in the fame white, so I'll just. Go grab myself two buff and then we'll look at the reset in a sec. Might just need like 200 more gold. I think I might greet a little bit. I'll hit the next wave. Or I might look at mid honestly. I want to just spend some time doing something and get time warp on my reset right here. I'll stop her back and then I'll just back off. Because the wave is pushing to me right anyways, I'm not scared of the steal, so I could honestly try to go for the second kill on him before I reset. I will return soon. Okay, I'm gonna reset. Get my time warp and... I'll kind of hover left a little bit if it's still going on a long time, but it seems about done, so I'll back off. I might actually go push mid though. Because Bellica's dead, that leaves only the Decker or the Steel to defend out. And Steel is actually over there, so I think Feynman should get out. If anything, we know the Steel and go for the Tower mid. Nice shot. Hey, 
A. I mean, if the steel is gonna still hang around left, I might as well just um attack right. Cause someone else had to go defend this tower now. Besides the steel. Almost stole it. If you didn't smite it, we definitely got it. Wait, I'll fight you actually. I'll definitely fight you. Except the belt cuts here. So I'll back off a little bit. Okay, so look at so well she has to be if Hammer is looking at me like that. Okay, he's not, so it just me it means the Hammer is gonna try to defend this L. Yep, we just kill him. He just disinfect our first combo right there. Oh yeah no, farm fuel is just <laughs> way way better than um the first iteration. It's just for the fact that his ultimate um, be like his more consistently the cooldown reduction on this um, passive buff is just massive as well and he still does plenty of burst damage even when going for a tanky fire boss in the builds An allied tower is destroyed. If Elika walks up to us but might honestly just kill her Oh, he missed his team. Don't think we can go with that anymore. Uh, that's unfortunate. I boost him so he doesn't get to ult me right away. And I should be chilling, honestly. I can unleash the heaven's fury. Yeah, we're honestly just doing really good this game. So, next thing too is we definitely have to rotate. Um, in the meantime, I'll try to see if I can keep trying to pressure in the mid lane by killing the Bellica and try to pressure the mid whenever, uh, right side whenever I can. Oh, I didn't walk that way. I would definitely go on him if the um, Bellica wasn't there. Not sure what you're trying to force there when that's what I want to do. I want them to fight me because we win that super hard. I'm gonna reset because we have to go help this thing too. So I'm gonna try to push to the left side a little bit. Maybe try to grab the tower while I have the mini fine, but also just be there for a mini fine. Thing to fight. Yeah, they're not doing it right away, so we have some time to keep pushing this lane a little bit more. Okay, I'm just walking in, now we get to walk in too. Oh, my Q got caught right there. Mm, we're just walking in by himself. Let's go. Nice job, Murloc. Let's go.
I'm going back. Let's get plus matrix. Stop in the wall breaker and then we're gonna be just keep just chilling because we're honestly just There's kinda taking over this game right now. Because I found that for Quan, there's two things you want to try and achieve. You want to achieve at least 50 ability haste, check. Now we want to try to get at least 200 magical power. So again, World Breaker finish off will allow us that um, right there. And then anything beyond that is just extra. So by being able to go a lot of HP, armor, and still going the threshold we need for 50 ability haste and 200 magical power, that's like the best way to build Quan. Wait, I'm gonna... Right there. Okay, he just blinked. Interesting. This play was kind of cute though, so it seems like he's kind of a shield on farm play, uh, Chimera player. Oh, we're fighting still. I'm on my way. Killing spree. Uh, try I actually go for this blink? I thought they're gonna walk the into the jungle, not to the mid lane. Enemy tower under siege. Enemy towers destroyed. I'll we'll just take camps. I think that's what we should do. Attack left. Uh, and only Belga realize we're over here right now. I feel the heavens fury. We can play around the Modoc if he walks into us. Uh, okay, this doesn't look as good as I like, so we're gonna slowly back off. You guys like that? Oh, let me actually survive first. Okay, you guys gotta like that. The getting pulled though, I use that as a juke. I don't think people realize, but if game just uses E in the middle of the fight like that, you can use it as a way to juke. So I was able to take the photo E out, and that gave me the distance I need. So kind of doesn't leap on me with his on B right there. Yeah, no, gain E is just really underrated in team fights because, like I said, it really depends on how he uses it. But if it happened, if the saw is aligned to happen right there, I like to use this E a lot to juke. Um, even if I'm like full HP, I'll just take it to just uh, mess around with the enemy, like um, trying to track me in the team fights. I'll back up a little bit for now. I might actually have to go for this feint too. So I'm going to agree for my tuba first and then we're going to make our way over. I'm going to shove one more wave in and then I'll make my way over. Oh, never mind. Kame is still on the side. Okay. Let's do feint twos then. Yeah, do faint twos. It kind of is on the side, just do faint twos. He had, yeah, they don't have a smite for it. Well, 
All I'm trying to do is just try and keep him away from the thing too, it's more than anything. Yep, that was pretty faint because I literally kept that kind of hostage on that white side. He can't move right there, so. Okay, I won't go chase him because he's being friendly, so I don't. I won't be mean. If he's gonna jump him like that, like friendly or friendly like that, then I respect it. As soon as he starts to like gank someone though, then the niceness is off. I think everyone's on the left side, it's still there. So let's um, shove this in and maybe we can hit us off this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep shoving this in at this point. Well, Bellica decided to come over here. Oh, I see it too, so everyone just kind of got off of that because I was pushing the inhibitor in. Oh, Sai's just gonna walk. Okay. I mean, that means she's gonna die right here. Alright, if she blinks out, then that makes sense why she did that. I mean, we can maybe just go for climb, honestly, at this point. Let the lane shove in. I think my Modok needs to mana more than I do. Wait. Right here? I'm trying to be a sneaky, um, Quan. Yeah, because the jungle now is super free. You saw how I was trying to hug the wall like that? Because if you don't have like direct, direct line of sight, you don't appear on the mini map right there. If you have the camera angle, he probably could see me, but the big thing is like he can't see me on the mini map because I don't have the direct line of sight right there. I have no HP, so we actually have to play it a little slow, at least for me. Bella can look at me and I die. I show. I, my friend makes me gain double quadrants this game, by the way. We love to see it, ladies and gents. Yeah, I don't stream on YouTube, I don't stream on Twitch, just because I don't stream consistently enough to warrant um, streaming on Twitch. Um, Stronger could be played offline. I know some one trips that does it really good, but I don't think it's that easy of a pick to uh, pull off compared to um, like a Trim Blast, in my opinion. No, my Modok, my friend. I'm sorry, I can't help you. That's it for those trying to end the game. We have HP, it just um, respawn timers just weren't in our favor right there. Hey, least we get World Breaker. Now we start to see what I want to go last in. Honestly, let's try Magnify. I think Magnify is really good, but most of my games, I the game ends before I can try like a Magnify last item tech. So 
Let's give a shot right here and see if we can get this built out before the game ends. There's a storm brewing. Let's see if the stream box walks into us. Oh, look, it doesn't see it just yet. Sometimes like you don't have to go for the knockup if you can literally just ult right in the face, boy. Right? If I miss mean, the kill, that's bad. But if I'm in the face away, right, might as well just go for the um just W key and go right kill. I mean, we could maybe just end the game if we really want to, but it seems like we can just go for the free objective for now, and then at the very least, I get magnified the last item tech. I stream on YouTube because I don't stream enough to do Twitch. Twitch is the only what to stream on there if you can like stream on there consistently, and I don't, right? I only stream like once per week at a minimum, right? So it's nearly not enough to be more streaming on the platform other than YouTube. Nice, we get magnified, so it shows up really cool stuff right there. The max build, we get about 303 magical power, and we have all these nice numbers for our defensive stuff. So yeah, we're kind of cooking right here, ladies and gents. I'm gonna go push fights because I think I can kind of push in that lane by myself. Especially since if I can get the kill on the steel. Nice assist, we got the kill. That means I'll get to keep pushing right here. Yeah, there's a minimal amount of days you need to stream on Twitch. And even if I get partner, it's like being on a contract. I have to do this many streams, this many hours per week. And that's like, I don't want to commit to that, right? It's not a big fan of that. With YouTube, there's no like contract or schedule. It's just, I do what I want to do, um, kind of feel. But Twitch is like, it forces you to get into a, a schedule that I'm not a big fan of. As someone that does content creation as more of a side passion rather than a full time career. I just want to come in like this. That's the blink by her. Oh, I kind of sweep that a little bit. There we go. Ah, uh, the Mega Garden still give me? No way. I think they end though. Because Bella could commit for that, so she get to die as a result. So, there we go. That's the GG's right there that we all love to see. 
Um, I know the kick was a thing, but I think I saw it die out at this point. I don't see people doing kick anymore. So again, it's like there's no point in me to stream to other platforms that when I don't even stream that much in the first place, right? All my content for um predators on YouTube. Why why should I go stream on Twitch or kick? Um, only like once or twice every two weeks, right? It just doesn't make sense in my head. Plus. I'd rather just keep everything in one spot, and that's what a lot of people seem to really enjoy the most. But yeah, definitely GG's Mixy. Double focus. Quadra, double Quadra on the Mixy Murdoch. Kind of, that's kind of like popping off. You, you were doing really great, my friend. GG's. People need to see my shirt collection. I do have a video on Twitter. Although, since I did that video collection on Twitter, I at least got five more shirts added to the collection right there.